Walter Scott started selling pre-prepared food from a converted horse-drawn freight wagon in Rhode Island in 1872. He unwittingly sparked the birth of one of the greatest of all American icons, the American Diner. So what qualifies a restaurant as an authentic diner? Well, there are lots of opinions about this. Some people point to the fact that it has to be a prefabricated structure with a long counter and chrome swivelling seats that are bolted to the ground. Other people point to the menu itself. It's got to be wholesome and uh, good value for money. The restaurant itself has to be family run and it's got to be able to serve an all day breakfast. In fact, the Webster's Dictionary defines a diner as a restaurant in the shape of a railroad car. Yeah, that works. What makes a real diner not just a restaurant? What's the difference between a diner and a restaurant? Our attitude, our atmosphere, stainless steel, pictures of Marilyn and Elvis, um, our names. Joni and Chachi, Chiffon, Sandra D from the movie Grease. Um, our tile, black and white tile floors, our, our uniforms, our hair, our makeup, red lips, chewing gum at all times. It's part of being a diner. But you're too young to remember the original diners, aren't you? I'm too young, yes, actually, I am too young. But this is what I have close to remembering the real diners and movies. I always have to remember the movies. And what do you think it is that people like about the, the diner experience? Um, our attitude, our appearance. It's fun, it's loud, it's fast-paced. It's a place to watch other people work hard.